Well, Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Akar Kadash. Shalom to the uh, elders for preaching the word truthfully and sincerely. And Shalom to the uh, Akim, scattered to the four corners of the globe, preaching the word truthfully and sincerely as well, too. And Shalom to the uh, Akwaf sisters as well, too. And I say Shalom. In the Heavenly Father's true name is uh, Yahweh. And his only begotten son, by Hashem, in the name of Mashiach, Havashah. Those are their true names in the ancient Paleo Hebrew, the Hashem, the Holy Tongue. And I say Shalom. And this is a uh, sit down lesson that I want to bring out from RT.com as of November 5th, 2023. And it reads Russian ballistic missiles hit targets thousands of kilometers away. A Bolivia. ICBM has successfully reached the Kamokoska, if I pronounced that right, after being launched from the White Sea, the uh, Defense Ministry has said. It says a, a Russian nuclear power submarine has conducted a ballistic missile test with the projectile traveling several thousand kilometers from the north to the easternmost part of the Earth. I mean, of the country, the defense ministry has said in a statement in the early hours of Sunday, the minister said that the submarine em empire, Emperor Alexander III, has basically based intercontinental ballistic missile from the White Sea to Karat test range, that the missile was fired underwater and that its warheads reach the target on time. And it says the uh, Russian military officials also noted that the test concluded the vessel sea trials, the result which will determine whether the uh, Emperor Alexander III of this joins the Russian Navy, built as a part of the Project 955 Berea. It was laid down in late 2015 and launched in 2022. The fleet currently has three active boats of this class, which three more under construction. And it says the minister also released a video capturing moments of the missile launch with a large roaring fireball bursting into the night sky. The ship bears the name of Russian emperor who ruled the country in the late 19th century, known for his conservative policies, Alexander III was nicknamed the Peacemaker because Russia fought no major wars during his reign. And since Alexander III is also credited with the phrase, Russia has only two allies, its army and its navy. According to the Russian Defense Ministry, the submarine can carry both advanced torpedoes and 16 Bulduva ballistic missiles. The latter weapon, which entered service in 2018, can carry nuclear warheads and has been described as part of the cornerstone to the country's nuclear triad. Берешь? Да, ракета в воздухе. Ракета в воздухе. Uh, this is the book of Joel, chapter 3, verse 9. Proclaim ye this amongst the Gentiles. Prepare war. Wake up the mighty man. Let all the men of war draw near and let them come up. And while you still have the uh, Russian-Ukraine situation in Russia, you know, they've been doing a lot of increasing military activity as of lately. From the uh, Mediterranean Sea, from the Black Sea, and what's happening with the Russian-Ukraine situation. 
And then they've been having their military equipment being deployed in different areas around the world. And then with the recent launch of the uh, Satan 2 missile, sending that message toward the United States and their adversaries as well, too. So Russia, you know, they are in that warlike mindset, you know. Why, as I mentioned again, as the Russian-Ukraine situation heating up, and then Russia been doing a lot of activities over there in, uh, in Syria as well, too. Because Russia is allies with uh, Syria. And then Russia recently, Russia and Syria recently blamed the Israeli Defense Force for uh, firing missiles over there in that facility over there in Syria for uh, targeting innocent uh, men, women, and children and army and men as well, too. So now you got Russia, you know, in that warlike mindset. And I'm going to read it again. It's the book of Joel, chapter 3, verse 9. Proclaim ye this amongst the Gentiles. Prepare war. Wake up the mighty man. Let all the men of war draw near and let them come up. Beat your plowshares and the swords and the plenty hooks and the spears. And let the weak say, I am scrum. This is the book of uh, Matthews. Chapter 24 and verse 6. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled for all these things must first come to pass, but then it's not yet. So with that, hopefully this uh, lesson was uh, edifying of this recent news article of uh, Russia success successfully launch and test and hit the targets over there in the uh, White Sea. As it says again, Russian ballistic missile hits target thousands of kilometers away. So with that, hopefully this uh, lesson was edifying. And with that, I would like to give all praises and glory and unto to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai Bashem, Akarkadash. In the heavenly Father's true name is uh, Yahweh and His only begotten Son, Bashem, in the name of Mashiach, Yahweh Shai. Those are their true names in the ancient Paleo Hebrew, the Lash from Kadash, the Holy Tongue. Those are their true names, as I mentioned again. And Shalom to the uh, elders for preaching the word truthfully and sincerely. And Shalom to the uh, Akim, scattered through four corners of the globe, preaching the word truthfully and sincerely as well, too. And Shalom to the Akwaf sisters. And once again, Shalom to the elders, Wa Akim, Wa Akwaf. Until next time, I will say Shalom.